I'm Denise, the senior manager for the um, SIM UOL programs. And uh, right now, I'd like to share more about the MSc in data science. Earlier in the session, we saw that some of you typed in questions, wanting to know more about the program, right? So this is the time for you to uh, stay tuned to what I've got to share. Right, so University of London, Goldsmiths, SIM. Wow, three institutions. How do we collaborate together to run the MSc program? So each of the institutions do have a role to play. So for University of London, it has been around actually for more than 180 years. And you know, you um, do you know Nelson Mandela? Do you know Mahatma Gandhi? Well, they were the alumni of the University of London. In fact, for right now, head of states, uh, we've got government officials that have gone through the doors of University of London, the alumni of the university. For University of London, it is the um, administrative body for the whole range of UOL programs. It manages the administrative side of things, for example, your registration, your exam uh, administration, even for graduation. Right? So University of London is important. It awards the degree to you. What about Goldsmiths? Goldsmiths is the academic college that provides academic direction to the MSc in data science program. So this includes um, providing the contents, confirming the syllabus, getting the videos and the readings and all ready for you. We work closely with Goldsmiths and uh, we have regular meetings with Goldsmiths uh, module leaders, program directors as well. What about SIM? What do we do? We provide the campus, right? We also have our workshops. We provide, most importantly, our experts, our lecturers, you know, to conduct classes for you to help you in your University of London program. In fact, Dr. Julian Lin is our course leader for the MSc in data science. He's also, uh, he will also be teaching on the MSc program. So at SIM, if you are a full-time student, you can enjoy uh, the wide range of activities, clubs, right? So let's talk more about the program at SIM. So the University of London is a federation of 17 colleges. They are all highly ranked in QS world ranking or even at times, um, times higher education ranking. So at SIM, we partner three colleges, LSE, UCL and Goldsmiths. So for the master's program, we collaborate with Goldsmiths actually for 28 years. We have been in partnership with the Department of Computing at Goldsmiths for 28 years. And last year, we launched the MSc in Data Science. We also launched the BSc in Computer Science. Now, SIM, if you're already not aware, we have 5,500 students studying the UOL programs at SIM. So in fact, the UOL Regional Center is also based at SIM. You, if you see the logo at the corner of my slide, top right-hand corner, it says 35. Well, this is a milestone for us. At um, SIM, we have partnered University of London for 35 years. We have about 40,000 alumni that have gone through the UOL program at SIM. Now, about employment rates. For our undergrad ghost space program, more than 90% of our graduates found a job within six months. Rich experience. Well, when you study at SIM, you see a vibrant, uh, a vibrant campus. We have got activities. There's great academic support for the students. In fact, this is a slide showing uh, actually the Achievers events. We had really good results last year. 304, 304 first class honours graduates. And then you could also see that our students top the world in the exams. In fact, for that 48 of them who were academic achievement recipients, they got £250 for London for a job well done for all the papers that they did in the exams last year. Right, why study data science? I, I suppose you have heard a lot from Julian and you have learned a lot. So I just quickly go through four points on uh, why we, we, we should study this data science. Well, the skills is in high demand. And then, you know, the professions could be from a wide range of industry. Okay, so you also learn about data analytics, 
data visualization and machine learning predictive models. You learn advanced data analytics without overloaded information that will soon be outdated. So Goldsmith's pride itself with providing you with the latest trends, latest information, and so that you can immediately activate that and execute that in the workplace. For our program, there are two intakes, April as well as October. So right now we are looking at an October intake uh, if you're keen to join the program. Now earlier, we had uh, participants asking how long is the program? So for the data science program, there are actually two other specializations. You'll see artificial intelligence. There could also be financial technology. Now, how long does it take? If you take a master's, it's about two years. If you take a post-grad diploma, there are eight modules. You complete it in one and a half years. For post-grad search, four modules, you complete it in one year. So we'll talk more about it in a while. Right, let's look at the program structure for MSc Data Science. You could see that there are six core and compulsory modules. So let's take a look at it closely. There's maths and stats for data science. Remember, Dr. Julian Lin earlier talked about, it's not about IT, it's about you need maths, you need statistics. Then there's machine learning, data program in Python, big data analysis, then there's data science research topics, data visualization. And then for masters, MSc in data science students, they've got four electives. You can pick from the range as listed. Now for master's students, you need to do a final year project. Now, what about the data science and FinTech program structure? We have got seven uh, modules that's relevant, that's compulsory. So now you could see that there's mathematics of financial markets that is important blockchain programming, financial data modeling. And then you have got three electives to choose from. What about the data science and AI? So for that, you need to take on artificial intelligence, neural networks. These are the two additional if you need to take, if you wish to sign on for the AI program. And then you have got three electives as well. Right, earlier we talked about Goldsmiths College. You, uh, SIN, can't run the show just alone, not on silo. We really need to work with University of London. In fact, uh, this coming Wednesday, no, sorry, this Thursday, we are having a meeting with the program director as well as the module leaders. So I have a photo here of the various uh, module leaders for the program. And at the bottom, uh, left-hand side, Professor Robert Zimmer. Well, he's the program director for the MSc in Data Science. Right. Now let's talk about program details. So the intake is every April or every October. We run the program on a part-time basis, right? And the delivery mode, well, it could be seminar style and definitely there'll be online self-study because the University of London programs, they offer um, lots of materials for you online. So you're expected to review the videos, the quizzes, the readings, before you step into class. There will be workshops for you. There'll be consultations as well. Loading wise, so what does that mean? So in April, say you were to join, say April to September, this is a six month program. April to September, you take three modules. Okay, so three modules. If you do the master's program, it'll take you about two years to complete. The timetable wise, you attend lessons every alternate week. But I would say, just imagine you have lessons every week across 22 weeks. It's just that maybe this week you have one module, next week you have two modules to study, right? And your classes could be in the evenings, weekday evenings, or could be on Saturdays. Exams. There will be exams. Exams will be in mid-March for those who started in October, and it will be mid-September for those who started the program in October. Now, here's a, a, an overview of the assessments. In general, for all the modules, there's a 30% coursework requirement. So you can do that in class. Uh, lecturers will provide consultations to you. And then there's written exam as well, 70%. For final project, it's the reverse. The project work itself is 70%. Then there's a written exam and that's 30%. What about the grading scheme? So for because this is a master's program, so it goes by distinction, merit, pass, or fail. 
Well, you could see that uh, the highest score, the highest uh, grade would be distinction. That means you scored a mark of 70 and above. This is how the degree cert look like. It will mention, of course, definitely your name, that it was conducted by University of London, and that um, Goldsmiths College uh, provides the academic direction. Now, on top of that, we at SIM provide you with an additional cert. That is the SIM Certificate, Statement of Academic Completion, right? Why did we uh, give this to students? We have students who say that, you know, there are so many masters out there on Coursera, online. So it is precious that they have a face-to-face -face class, you know, with an institution. And they say that uh, job uh, recruiters, you know, ask to see whether us whether the program that they took, is it online or is it face-to-face? -face? So this cert from SIM proves that you are a, uh, a student that studied the program with SIM. Now, you would wonder, now would the program, the Masters of Science in uh, MSc in Data Science, would it help you in your future career? I would say so. Now, there are a few things that I would like to reiterate. So by taking the program, it gives you a firm grounding in the theory of data mining, statistics, and machine learning. You learn to create models to predict future trends, develop predictive applications, and not just descriptive. You've got hands-on experience of real-world applications such as social media, biomedical, and financial data. And then you have the opportunity to work with industry standard software tools. Right now, let's talk about entry requirements. Basically, there are two entry routes. You know, earlier, uh, quite a few of you asked whether you need an IT background. Well, the answer is here. There's entry route one, entry route two. For entry route one, for you, if you have a relevant subject, such as computing, data science, it means that you are an entry route one student. Entry route students would be people like me. I've got a social science uh, degree. I have to go through entry route two. Now, entry route two means you have a degree uh, in a subject other than uh, IT, computer, uh, data science. Okay? And there's a requirement from university. It says you need to have second class honours, UK equivalent. So if you have an Australian degree, uh, it's distinction, merit, no worries. Just give us the transcript will be able to assist you. Now, I just wanted to say that we do have some candidates who has a first degree, but they didn't do quite well. They've got third, third class honours. Not to worry, put in your application because London will review it and let you know whether you need to have a top up to that. Now, so top up, what do I mean by that? I'm an entry group two student, for example. I have a degree that is non-IT, non-data science. I need to do this other program. Now you see it on the screen, it says foundations of data science. K means clustering in Python. So this means I have no background, but University of London would like me to sign on to Coursera uh, Foundations of Data Science, this particular program. It takes about six weeks for you to complete the program, at the end of which, when you attain a cert of completion, pay a fee of USD 49, and you will, with that cert and your application, uh, you should be admitted uh, into the UOL MSc program, right? So for those of you out there who would like to know a lot more about Python, because what we understand is that for the MSc program, there's quite a fair bit of Python. You can take a screenshot over there and you can um, pick up Python along the way. So later, perhaps, maybe, uh, Dr. Julian, you can explain about the program, the technical aspects or something about Python to us. Right, the overall fee, okay, um, if you start with a PG cert, if you decide that, okay, I think I'll just do the one-year program, four modules, then it costs about 13100 If you decide to do the PG diploma, post-grad diploma, that's about 25900 the full master's is 36400 As usual, we do not get you to pay immediately up front. You pay every semester. Okay, Depending on the semester that you enroll in, you pay according to 
basically most of you will pay for three modules. So just pay for three modules and uh, we go on from there. Right, application. Okay, application has started. Our next intake is October 2021. Right, so um, before I go to the end of the session, I just want to highlight for entry route two students, people like me, I should join only in April. So for this October, if you are an entry route one student, you can join this October. If you are an entry root student, you should join in April next year. All right. So I think I've come to the end of the session.